I'm going to ask you one question, and this is really important. The answer is yes or no. Do you think that pain only occurs when there is an injury to the body, a damage to the body? Pain only occurs when there is a disease, something that is hurting the body? Yes or no? Think about it. The answer is no. And I have hundreds of examples that this is true. And I'll give you some here. So tension headaches. There's nothing damaging the head and the person has pain. Migraines. Irritable bowel syndrome. Complex regional pain syndrome type 1. Chronic cystitis. Primary dysmenorrhea. I had a lot of. This is menstrual cramps. I had no damage in my uterus. My uterus were fine, perfect, but I had lots of pain. There is an example that you will think and you will change your mind. It's called phantom limb pain. The person has an amputation and they have pain in the limb that was amputated. So how can they have an injury to a foot or a hand that has been amputated, but they still may have? Pain. And the classical example is fibromyalgia. The person has pain all over their body, but their body is not injured. It's not harmed. It's not with a disease. The problem of all these pains, all of this, what they have in common, is neuroplasticity changes in the pain system. These changes are in the pain system itself. These are changes in the alarm system of the body which is the danger detection system. That's where the disease is, but it's not in the parts where they have pain. This is a very important concept that a lot of people don't even know, including many healthcare professionals.